Popper argued that scientific theories should accurately predict testable outcomes. He said that the scientific community should reject theories when they don't produce accurate predictions. Deductive reasoning is the process of inferring implicit conclusions from explicit statements. An inference is deductively valid if its conclusion follows logically from its premises. For example, all bachelors are unmarried men. John is an unmarried man. Therefore, John is a bachelor. Inductive reasoning takes a broader premise and then specific observations to draw conclusions from. For example, if you knew that it was common for someone to walk their dog at 8 a.m. on Mondays, it seems valid to infer that next Monday they will do the same, or that in general, that person walks their dog by the market every Monday. However, it doesn't mean they will be doing this on a regular basis. The person might not always walk by the market at 8 a.m. on Monday, even with a lot of observations. Some scientists believe that you can't actually know for sure that it's more probable, since the data mainly relies on assumptions. Popper's point is this, no matter how many observations are made which confirm a theory there is always the possibility that a future observation could refute it. Induction cannot yield certainty. Karl Popper also criticized the idea of objective observation of the world. All observation is also affected by how someone understands the world. The world appears to us with the constraints of our previous knowledge and beliefs. It is theory-laden. Popper proposed an alternate scientific method that focuses on falsification. However, with every theory there may be many instances that can support it. It however only takes one contrary observation to disprove it completely. Science progresses when old theories are disproven. Thus, a new theory is introduced which better explains what's happening. Popper believes that scientists should attempt to disprove their theory rather than try to prove it. Science can help us progress, but there's no way we can ever be sure. Popper's first major philosophy contribution was to the demarcation problem. The demarcation problem is a common question in philosophy of science, epistemology, and related fields that seeks to define the difference between facts and beliefs that are in accordance to the scientific method and those which are not. Karl Popper saw demarcation as a central problem in the philosophy of science. However, the history of science gives little indication of having followed anything like a methodological falsificationist approach. Indeed, and as many studies have shown, Scientists of the past, and still today, tended to be reluctant to give up theories that we would have to call falsified in the methodological sense, and very often it turned out that they were correct to do so, seen from our later perspective. The history of science proves that sometimes it is wise to stick to your opinion. For example, Newton's gravitational theory was initially refuted by measurements of the Moon's orbit. One observation or event doesn't invalidate a theory. For example, the experiment may not have been well designed or the data could be incorrect, which only means that we need more information to make a decision. A lot of people feel that it was Popper's formulations of logical procedure that helped rein in the excessive use of inductive speculation. This strengthened the conceptual foundation for today's peer review procedures. Science starts with problems rather than observations, as they are more likely to produce better results. It is in the context of grappling with a problem that scientists make observations in the first place. Observations are selectively designed to test the extent to which a given theory functions as a satisfactory solution to a given problem. When you look at physics, chemistry, psychoanalysis, and psychology, among other fields, and compare them to astrology and phrenology, you'll see that the former are classified as sciences while the latter two are pseudoscience based on the ideas put forth by Karl Popper.